from Project Engineer at Vico Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner Video Training Series Level 7. We're going to run a Monte Carlo Risk Simulation. The aim of this vignette is to teach you about Monte Carlo Risk Analysis and show you how to run Monte Carlo Risk Simulations in Vico Schedule Planner. Later we'll learn about this information and how it is useful to us when we optimize the schedule. <clears throat> Monte Carlo Risk Simulation is a tool used to model and identify problems in the schedule. We can use the results of our Monte Carlo Risk Simulation to alert us to make proactive decisions about the schedule. Essentially, Monte Carlo Risk Simulation provides us a throw of the dice, or a probability calculation to assess each of the different five risk categories that we've defined for every task. With our risk value set, let's head to our side navigation bar to the Risk Simulation menu. We're going to select the Simulation tool. An iteration is essentially the number of times that the schedule will be run through during this analysis. A thousand is the bare minimum, and we would suggest no more than 5,000 times as a satisfactory number of iterations to test our schedule. Within this view, we have the simulation setting, which model the control action. A control action is a behavior modeled into the risk analysis, which allows the software to change crews when the task is getting behind. By default, this is not enabled. The simulation can check the need of a control action after each location or after each week to a potential risk which will exist based on the current logic and sequencing that we've developed our schedule on. The current settings are satisfactory, so let's click OK. We can now select the simulation tab to begin our Monte Carlo risk analysis. As we can see, a string of red, yellow, and green nodes now appear on every task line and every location. If we were to isolate a green node, we would see here the total percentage of optimism or risk in which that, that location could occur. Comparatively, if we hover our mouse over a red node, we would be given the percentage of pessimism that would be likely for that task to occur. It is the difference between these red, yellow, and green nodes, which allows us to begin to optimize our schedule. As part of interpreting our risk simulation, we should head back to the risk simulation menu and to the temporal distribution. The temporal distribution will show the probability of the project reaching the end date and the milestone set for the simulation. The histograms show the count of hits for each day and the curve shows the cumulative distribution. The overall probability is calculated from the point where the cumulative curve and project end date milestone intersect. Essentially what we can gather from this is that the schedule is still currently quite risky and that we need to further optimize this schedule by introducing buffer to protect the production of the schedule. We'll learn more about this in the next vignette for this series. In this vignette, we've learned that Monte Carlo Risk Simulation is used to validate the reliability of our Vico Schedule Planner schedule. We can use this data to optimize the schedule to find the potential and optimal trade-off between cost and time under conditions of uncertainty. We've also learned that the number of iterations are used to run the schedule to test its potential different outcomes, which we can later optimize to.